the two. Jim Harrick, West Virginia native, high school coach in Los Angeles, and assistant at UCLA. Jim Valvano, a New York City native, coach at Iona, and New Rochelle, New York, his third year at North Carolina State. Under seven minutes to go in the second period. Gannon, Terry Gannon, 24, Wittenberg, 25. Three guards in there again for North Carolina State, along with Thurl Bailey and Lorenzo Charles. Charles passed up the shot, not going to challenge Phillips. He's been rather effective inside, though. He surprised me. He's played well. Wittenberg shooting top of the key with Wilson in his face and Derek Wittenberg. Now has 12 points in the game. We've had eight lead changes in five ties in the game tonight. 6.15 remaining, second period. And they go inside a foul. Orlando Phillips is fouled. This one is against Sidney Lowe. And for Lowe, that's his second personal foul. Lowe came in for the defensive help from the weak side, but he's got to let the offensive man come down on the ground. When he landed, he fell in the low. That's a block on him. Orlando Phillips. Native of San Francisco. You saw the graphic. He's averaging over 20 points a game, and Phillips right now has six in the ball game. But the waves of Pepperdine in Malibu in California have a lead 44 to 43, 6.05 to go. One of these teams will go home, the other will play Nevada Las Vegas Sunday. In the second round, Thurl Bailey guarded but goes up with a shot anyway. And over Victor Angle. Last time, Lou two times, NC State has scored. They've had defenders in their face and they've hit the shot. Well, you can see State when they come down, they're going inside to, to Baylor because he can score, or they go inside to Charles because Phillips is in foul trouble. Don Rizik trapped out to Wilson. Wilson trying to penetrate. The pass inside knocked away and taken down by Derek Wittenberg. If, now, I, if I've been surprised and impressed with anything, it's been the quick hands of the, of the NC State defenders. They've come up with the loose balls. They knocked away passes that looked like they were going to result in layups. Five minutes, 20 seconds remaining. Gannon, Lowe, and Wittenberg. They want to go to Bailey, maybe. He's hit his last five shots. NC State by a point. We've had ten lead changes, six ties in the ball game. Well, they're into a little bit of a delay game now. They've got their three guards in there. They may decide to run off a minute and then go, go for the score. Wilson on, on Wittenberg. Gondrasik on Lowe. Lowe going to the hoop. He's penetrated effectively once. That shot is deflected by Phillips, taken down by Pepperdine. Looking to take the lead again. And now a technical foul has been called. Sidney Lowe. Limps to the bench. The man that North Carolina State can least afford to lose. They already had two guards in there in Gannon and Wittenberg. 443 to go in the it's second. Very, very tentative. They just haven't come up with the loose balls. They've been dominated on the boards. They've had a lot of shots blocked. When these type of things happen, you get a little tentative. You'll see when they get the ball. Even if they get a clean rebound, they don't hit the out, outlet, go to the middle, and, and run the ball down the floor. They're tentative. They're walking it down. You can see over here on the sidelines, both coaches have got to be befuddled. I, I can't believe they've but ever been in a game like this. They may be befuddled, and we are befuddled. But I'll tell you one thing. When you think that Dane Suttle is not hitting his shots and that Pepperdine is hitting 39, 40% of their shots. They're playing the Atlantic Coast Conference champions. You started the game by saying they have a mission here. They want to knock off the ACC champs. Pepperdine wants to show they're on the map. They're trailing by one point in a seesaw game. I think Pepperdine has to like their position, even though they're not playing their style. I just, um, hey, I'm supposed to know what's going on here, and I can't figure this out. <laughs> I don't know if the coaches have, because they had the halftime intermission to try to work it out. Well, and obviously, the you made the, the, the good point. They've run people in and out. They're looking for something to happen, and they, they just can't get it. I still believe that they need to get the ball to Sadler, although he's on the bench right now. When he gets it, things seem to happen. Shooting the technical foul, which was called on Wittenberg as subtle. He's two for four, by the way, from the field in the second half after going three for 11. He's the man who makes it go. We have our seventh tie of the game, and on the bench, Bill Sadler, the man that Steve Brody says and has proved to be effective when he's been in there going inside. 
But instead, they have Wilson, and actually a three-guard offense for both teams when Lowe is in there. Lowe is back in there, and he seems all right. Now, when they trap this ball on the perimeter, perimeter here, they need the ball in Suttles' hands. He can penetrate and go to the basket. And we get down four minutes and 20 seconds. Wilson has been key down the stretch. Gannon is before Pepperdine. Gannon has been important in the clutch situations for North Carolina State, other than the stars that we've talked about. Foul. Sidney Lowe. No, it's a timeout called for by Pepperdine. Timeout with 4 of the Gill Coliseum in Corvallis, Oregon. Dick Stockton and Steve Grody. We have 4 8 remaining in the second half. And North Carolina State and Pepperdine are tied 45-45. No one has really moved out to a big lead. The shooting has been hovering around 40% in a game in which both clubs have played deliberate style, not the running style they're used to. You look at the timeout story, Steve. Well, they were very tentative. No one seemed to have an idea of what to do. And now he's got Sadler back in the game. When Sadler gets his hands on the ball, he's about the only one that does anything with it. The only one that has really made things happen in any kind of continuity tonight. Night for either side. Coming outside is Victor Anger, 52. Subtle going to the hoop. Double team nicely by Wittenberg and Bailey. NC State playing very tight defense with 3.43 to go. Pepperdine looking to win the first round for the fourth straight time in their appearances in the NCAA championship. Moving the ball around. No one is going to try and run now. This is the best offensive pattern that they've run the entire game. They're Let's see if Sadler. They, they, they certainly are. They're looking for Sadler and NC State, particularly Lorenzo Charles, is trying to stop the side of Orlando Phillips got free of Thurl Bailey, and Pepperdine has a lead by a bucket. You look at the clock remaining here. Good no call. I thought I thought Phillips faked the charge. I'm sorry, Bailey. It was a good no call. Two points. Pepperdine up by by two. Eleven lead changes in the ball game. We've had seven ties. NC State's biggest lead was six. Pepperdine had the early lead, and I think Pepperdine right now may be at the highest they have felt since the start of the game when they took the 10 to 2 lead. Because here they are leading by a basket, 3:08 to go, knowing. That in this kind of clock, if they can get the rebound and not let NC State score, they may be really going to the delay game. I've said it before and I'll say it continually. I like to watch teams come out and play after a timeout. That was the best offensive sequence they've had the entire game. Now they get another timeout and now they get to set their defense on the other end. Look for them maybe to do something different now. They're up two points. Uh, there haven't been a lot of points scored in this ball game. A two-point lead is... Team fouls right now. NC State has six, one more, and there's a penalty. And Pepperdine has five. An interesting, strange ball game from the start tonight. And who would have guessed that Pepperdine wouldn't be in foul trouble at this stage of the game after all the fouls they had early? All of their front line starters picked up three fouls, and they really stayed out of foul trouble in the second half. Terry Gannon, good outside shot, number 24, low 35, the playmaker. Wittenberg has really been handcuffed in this half. He has not been a factor. In the thorough Bailey, back to Gannon, the good outside shooter, ties the ball game up. 47 all, with 240 remaining. So Gannon, a key man on the floor at the end, and Wilson for Pepperdine. He has the ball now. I'll tell you what, every time Pepperdine has taken the lead, NC State has answered with a big basket. Eight deadlocks. Subtle misses. Phillips the rebound. Sadler into anger and the rebound, the basket. The basket will not count, apparently. Now, this, ball was, count. this ball was tipped in. They were asking for a little bit of goaltending, I believe. Once again, when you get the ball to Sadler in the lane area, he's so creative, he gets the ball to the open man. This is what NC State feared. And on the line now is Victor Anger. Five of ten from the free throw line. Pepperdine, nine of 15 from the line. North Carolina State, three of nine. This has not been a game for shooters in any stretch of the imagination. Anger misses them both. 5 of 11. Loose ball. NC State trying to take the lead. 2.18 to go. Keep in mind, we have a timeout. 2.14 to go. Timeout called by NC State, and they have one left. 